we have a rough week. We have recognition of the Lord effort that this is the most interesting story. And I would ask uh, Chief uh, the West County Sheriff's Office, Chief Kirshner, that he talk about uh, like Russ made the front page of one thing. He did. Yeah, I'm Keith Kirshner. I'm the Chief Deputy of Lexington Sheriff's Office. I work with uh, Director Ford Sheriff Metz and that for the past 40 some odd years. I uh, also serve as the uh, President elect for the SCLEOA, the South Carolina Law Enforcement Officers Association. We've been in existence since 1941. And what we do is we try to protect the interests of the citizens, the public safety, the welfare of the citizens of the state of South Carolina while having a strong association. We also protect the interests of law enforcement officers across the state. We support legislation and uh, funding that will help us protect the public. So what we also like to do, and know many other things that we do at the association, um, what we like to do each and every year is recognize a citizen for their heroic efforts and an officer every year for their heroic efforts, essentially. And um, we have a representative nominated from each district for both. And we recognize those folks, like I said, once a year. We normally do that at the conference, and this year we did it, last year, in fact, we did it at a special luncheon, which we held last Thursday. Um, the officer was the chief of police at the Bono Police Department, and his was really for outstanding efforts over a career, the things that he's really done for to improve his community. Uh, his chief Fowler, I believe was his name. This year's citizen, um, there were nominees from all almost each and every district throughout the state. But this year's citizen, I have to tell you that I uh, served on the committee to determine who the winner would be. And I, it was clear to me, and obviously to others, that Mr. Wheat, Russell Wheat, what should be uh, the winner for 2011 for the citizen of the year. Because what he did was truly heroic. There was a deputy in Richland County uh, who had encountered a number of people and uh, performance of his duties. I think he was on a call for service. And while he was there, they became very argumentative, uh, even combative. And the deputy's life and uh, certainly his uh, well being was in jeopardy. Uh, most citizens, well, maybe that's not true. I think there are citizens who would just drive on by. And I always know that I was in a situation that, like that myself a very long time ago where a young man got the best of me. The citizen stopped and asked, Do you need help? And I said, uh, Well, I can't repeat what I said, but get over help. <laughs> <laughs> he helped me, and uh, he and another man helped me, and uh, that situation would have turned out much differently. Uh, unfortunately, he wasn't recognized for that. In fact, I don't know that man's name. I wish I did. But Mr. Mr. Reed saw it, and uh, he helped that officer. And that situation, I'm sure, would have turned out much worse than the deputy uh, that was there at the scene. Um, not only did he sacrifice his time, and a lot of folks just aren't willing to do that anymore. He sacrificed, potentially sacrificed his, could have sacrificed his life, and unfortunately he did not, and his well-being. Just as that officer swore to do to serve and protect, he didn't do that. He just drove by and stopped and helped the guy out. And uh, I wish there were more folks like him because uh, we do our best as long as we can partner with the community and folks that we serve. Mr. Russell, we were certainly deserving of that. And the, sit the situation turned out well. A number of folks that were there causing the officer a problem uh, were arrested. I think he even found that some of them had warrants against them already. So for that, the uh, South Carolina Law Enforcement Officers Association recognize Mr. Russell Peake, the citizens of the year for 2009. Thanks, Chief. I appreciate that. Can you hear me okay? <laughs> what a great blessing it is to be here. First off, let me start by giving thanks to our Heavenly Father and recognize the life sacrifice of the Son, Jesus Christ. Miracle, in a word, best describes the events leading up to and surrounding that day back in February. Miracle, I can't explain it, I can only validate it. As a policy that requires a dispatch and a restoral to be made within six hours was missed, overlooked, forgotten, for some nearly six weeks, I don't think so. Miracle. Some would refer to it as lady luck, happenstance, chance, or karma. It is what I would say is divine intervention. Miracle. There is truly no way to say how our two paths, that of Deputy 
Danny Brown and myself were placed in that exact time and space, but then that of appointment. Miracle. Not the end of a miracle, but a miracle just beginning, for the purpose is not completely revealed, but one that allowed me to, to serve, to share today with you, that you too can have a miracle. Miracle. You may be one who's already experienced that miracle, but for those of you who are here that have not, let me bid to you that you can seek out a friend, a coworker, a family member, a church leader that may share with you the saving knowledge that you also can have that miracle, the miracle of life. Thank you very much.